The euthanization of more than 50 cats at the Terre Haute Humane Society has changed the way the shelter operates. News 10's Lindsay Yates has been following this story closely for you. She joins us now in the studio and has more on the changes and what they mean for the community. Lindsay? Mike, Patrice, there isn't a single cat up for adoption. They are also no longer accepting any cats at the shelter. This while they are trying to rid the building of a deadly bacterial infection. The shelter might not be open for cat intakes until the construction of their new building is complete. It's expected to open sometime this winter. So until then, where are rescue cats supposed to go? Code enforcement tells us their hands are tied and now they are asking for the community help. Maybe feed and water the cats if possible. Uh, maybe call surrounding shelters in other communities. I know they're just as full as our uh, Humane Society is here, but honestly it, it, it's sad for the animals. I mean they're the ones who are paying the price. However, in hoarding cases, code enforcement says they will reach out to surrounding counties, even going as far as Indianapolis. And after the news of the devastating outbreak, one Terre Haute woman is stepping up to hoping to find loving homes for area animals. And now she's urging others to do the same. Mackenzie McKittrick has been fostering pets for nearly four years. She is currently taking care of six kittens, including a kitten that belongs to the Terre Haute Humane Society. She was able to take him home before he went into the shelter, so he is not at risk of ca catching the infection. McKittrick is in the process of adopting the kitten and she tells us fosters are crucial to help area shelters survive. It's absolutely hard but it's also most the most rewarding thing seeing them grow up and go to a wonderful home you know it is amazing it is definitely rewarding. If you are interested in fostering the best way to do so is to place a call to your local animal shelter. Mike back to you. Thank you Lindsay.